Sprouts in Buzzsprout and I'm going to just go, briefly go through looking at your statistics in Buzzsprout. You can see that there's nothing here because at the time of recording this um, the Lazy Girls Guide to Podcasting wasn't actually published so this it has got zero in it but I'm, it's still going to serve a purpose really well to be able to show you how to read your analytics. So when you first click on stats and then podcast overview it will always default to showing you the last 30 days and you can then see your these are your total amount of downloads as over the last um, 30 days. If we go across to the last seven days, you can break it down like that. Again, this is all downloads. You can also look the last 90 days, all time, and this is where it'll come up with, you know, those bigger, um, those bigger numbers there. You can also come down and you can track the um, per episode data as well, so the downloads per um, per episode and then what's really nice is it gives you this little podcast predictor it's not always completely accurate but what it does do is every time um, you get um, downloads then it will be able to say yes do you know what next time you publish a new episode it will probably get this amount of downloads it then also shows you here that you can go across to apple podcasts spotify podcasters and google podcasts and as long as you're set up for your podcast to feature in these directories, then you can go and get those additional download analytics that I was talking about in the presentation there. We come back up to the top and we can click on episode downloads. And this is where it's, you know, the first seven days of the last however many episodes. And again, you can look at um, 30, 90 and all time. So we can see that, as I said, there's no data in here, but it gives you the first seven days of however many episodes there. Apps and devices, this is really useful as well. It shows you the top apps. So this will come up with maybe Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, whatever it is, Apple Podcasts, but the top app. And that can be really useful for informing you where your audience are listening to your podcast the most. Also the top device, again, this is really useful. For me, this always comes up as mobile. So I always, always, always make sure because of that, that anything that I put out, any web pages that I put out advertising, the podcast are always optimized for mobile devices, just because I know that my um, audience for the Competent CEO podcast generally will listen on, to, on um on mobile device more than anything else. And then you've also got top category, which again can be useful if you're thinking that maybe you need to change the category that you are, um, you're advertised in. And again, this just breaks down the, not advertised, but featured in, sorry. And then it just breaks down that information a little bit more. Locations, this is a really useful one for being able to see where your podcast is most being downloaded and it breaks it down not just by country or territory but also by cities. And as I said, this is really useful for, for me because I like to see where people are listening. Now, I know that the majority of the listens for the Competency CEO podcast happen in North America and also in Europe. So because of that, I tend to make sure that my social media posts go out at times which suit these two time zones when I am promoting that particular um, content for the podcast. It's not to say that I don't consider it anywhere else, but as I said, I know that these are my two biggest locations for listen. So that helps inform me. And it also means that when I'm talking about pricing, I can make the pricing more, um, you know, kind of more accessible to these two areas. I think it's something like 46% of listeners for the Confidence CEO podcast are in North America and it's like over 30 here and then everyone else makes up everywhere else. Um, and then you can also come across to achievements. It tells you how old your podcast is. I've had this um, one set up for a month, but as I said, it's not live yet because I'm still doing some background work on it. It'll tell you how many episodes you've got published how many downloads you've got overall. And then it gives you these little achievement things, which are quite sweet. It'll come up here when you hit different achievements. It comes up here with a little graphic that you can search out on social media, which is quite nice. But to begin with, these numbers might be all that you need to look at for your metrics. It's completely depending on what your, what your goals are. 
What I would encourage you though is to not look at the stats more than weekly. And the reason I say that is because you can have some days where you have spikes and other days where it's just a bit slow growth and it's like pulling teeth. And what you don't wanna do is check in when you have a day where you're having very slow growth because that can be really demoralizing if you're thinking, oh, I've only got two downloads since yesterday, what's the point? As opposed to if you check in weekly, then you're going to be seeing more um, you know, more growth, which is going to be more encouraging and more inspiring for you. So I would not, if, it doesn't matter how big or how new your podcast is, I would not encourage you to look more than weekly because otherwise you can get way too tangled up in the metrics and then you can start losing that, you, you know, why you're doing it in the first place and um, you can lose that love and that passion. So that is how you look over your um, your metrics in Buzzsprout.